YouTube, what's the righteous word? It's your boy Gangland Neem, aka Neeman. I before the E. Golly, I don't know y'all. Remember that. And we back with another video. Um, I want to start this by saying shout out to academics. <clears throat> academics is definitely one of the reasons why I wanted to um get on here and start doing my thing. You feel me? I think he got a lot going on. I'm be honest with you. Um if this is your first time to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment, and share, please, and thank you. I need that for the algorithm. If you could go to the top of the page, hit that Instagram link, follow me on Instagram, shoot me any content in the DMs y'all want me to react to. I'm with all that. But um, back to act. Like I said, my boy got a lot going on from, like, women exposing him, um, having beef with Saucy Santana, uh, having having beef with multiple women in rap rappers, all kind of stuff. You feel me? And I think he got a, a alcohol problem. But just be real, I ain't judging nobody. But um, shout out to him is what I want to say. But this is kind of like <clears throat> I feel like academics is compromised in a bunch of different ways. But we just gonna talk about with Drake. You know what I'm saying? I feel like bro does some super caping for drake and we're gonna get into this clip and we'll um discuss the clip after but it's just like man how can we take your word for anything brother if you just gonna be you know what i'm saying riding meat golly uh i want to give ross his kudos okay All right uh kendrick you're on the clock still you're on the clock now there's a bunch of things happening, right? This is what I believe is happening, okay? It's big caping going on, I'm just saying. What y'all say out there glazing? This thing got crispy cream all over his mouth. I'm just saying. And this is, I'm getting tidbits of information. I'm hearing leaks. Random numbers is calling me. They, I don't know if they think I'm like the FBI hotline or whatever, but whatever. This is what I hear, Okay. The next moves to come are being set up by some of the antics you see today, tomorrow, until the track from Kendrick drops. For example, today was the day that media-wise we were consumed, and forget the Rick Ross thing for a second, about Ghost Riders. And yes, Ghost Riders is back up uh, again a topic. Now, one of the vulnerable parts of Drake is that he's previously, you know, the culture was getting at him for writers this and third, Quentin Miller specifically. Now we heard about maybe Kendrick had a writer. And then we heard that writer may have wrote for Roddy Rich and this, that, and the third. We're going to actually debunk this. Now, I'm going to tell you one of the interesting that's kind of just happened, right? And I've heard about this particular track and Metro, Metro. Uh, the, the reason why I stream Metro just leaked a Drake, um, a Drake reference track. He just leaked it. Honestly, he just leaked it. Right? Don't know how. He and again, I, I'm just gonna let y'all know. This is y'all king. Y'all be thinking Drizzy. You know what I'm saying? I like Drake too. Don't get me wrong. I like Drake, but it's like, bro, more reference tracks. And when you hear this one, it's kind of crazy. Like. It's, it's, I mean, it's just like the last one. He take everything word for word and, you know what I'm saying, switch a couple things around. Got it, but somehow he got it. And he just leaked it and apparently sent it to a few, like, bloggers that he fucks with, you know. Metro, I'm the biggest. You got to send it to the big act if you really want it to go out. I'm fair enough. I'll put it out. It's all good. But nevertheless, I got my hands on it. Now, supposedly, this is a uh, reference track of Drake. And it's not supposedly. We all know this song. And I'm going to be honest. I really like this song from Drake. Does it take away from the song? No, it doesn't. But does it take away from Drake? Yes, it does. This is in direct response to Metro and Kendrick's side feeling that the news of Drake's ghost. No, no. The news of Kendrick's ghost rider is being like hyped up and pushed by Drake's side. So they went and found a, 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 a reference track of Drake to leak because they feel that Drake is, is trying to leak something of theirs or push a narrative that Kendrick's using writers. And I want to tell you this too about Act. I know y'all think everybody who's like on YouTube or 
you know what I'm saying, on a screen is like famous or they're in the know or something like that. Now, don't get me wrong. Act got wild contacts. We know this. But I'm going to tell you, I watch what Act does and a lot of that stuff be speculation. He's a smart dude. No matter how drunk he be on here or any of that, he's a smart dude. And he just puts pieces together. He says a lot of things that's like, bro, that's substantiated. It is. You're just, you're calculating this and doing that and you're shooting the narrative out. But like, don't take bro word like, oh yeah, he heard from the, no, you didn't. Say the source. You big act. Say the source. I'm going to play the track now. It's it's a track that we all love, but um, uh, it's uh, Jumbotron shit popping. Um, Metro Boomin has leaked it. And, um, of course, he's leaked to, like, you know, text from, like, some random number or whatever. Uh, it's supposedly created by Yachty, and supposedly Yachty was the person who really, like, you know what I mean, did all this shit, okay? Uh, well, look how, bro, this supposedly, allegedly. It's not, bro. You have the reference track, and you hear him. Like, how is it alleged how, or supposedly? But he glazing, man. Come on, big hack. You better than this. Play the track now. We'll talk about it in a second. But this is the reference track, okay? Allegedly, right? And we're going to keep saying allegedly. Here we go. It's going to sound like I'm a little yeah. biased, but I kind of said the same thing with with, 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 with um that N95 shit with, with Kendrick. Unless you get, catch unless you catch Drake really rapping a bunch of bars that that nigga or some other nigga like has written, Bro, this is just like a wavy song to me, bro. Okay, um, hey, I think it probably ex helps explain to me why. Which album was this? This is, is this? This ain't her loss, is it? No, this is. Is this? Is this CLB? I'm sorry to keep stopping it, but pay attention to how bro doing everything to try to deflect off the fact that we have yet another reference track from a a, a hit Drake song. Like, come on, bro. He trying to give Yachty props now. Shout out to Yachty. Yachty hard. You feel me? Which album is this from? You know all Drake albums. Cap. Am I moving the goalpost? You can hold me to the fire. Yeah, nigga. Y'all can hold me to the fire. It's fine. But I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, I do think this is why Yachty's been, been probably telling y'all niggas, yo, Stop trying to downplay like my talent because when I put the this, this same songs out, y'all act like it's mid and trash. But when Drake sings it, if they've worked together, and obviously they're friends, so clearly they probably have. Look when Drake sings it, y'all. If they work, bro, play the track. Hold on, we can fast forward to the track because this is too much glazing for me. He should work at Krispy Clean Creams. Golly. Yeah, man. He said, "Y'all fucking love it, you know what I mean?" And I ain't gonna lie, he is right. Okay, cause this is a hot song. I just pulled me off the phone, kind of take sand. Round around my ass and like the whole hands. I spent so much last time it's hard to leave. Look at this fool hack. Look at hack in the corner. Swing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this my joint. <laughs> Dinner, do the whole fine attack in a cold red. If I tell this bitch to pull up, she gon' mope it. My dog, you don't smoke on shit unless it's unlit. I don't back and forth, open on that, so just gon' date it. See me when you see me, and if it's smoke, doggy, unleash it. Thick rockin', bitch, it's my fave, I'm not gon' beat it. Lookin' in the mirror, kiss my face, I'm too conceited. Said that bitch home, callin' out the dog, I'm too slime. Shotty hit me up on the first day, that's her rhyme. New fool, fight a pop an X, dog, it's that time. That shit kicked in like a two time world champ. Boot up, that shit up and down, it's like a skate ramp. Big smoke. She lit up the room like a glow lamp Who won't smoke? Okay, cool It's got me fucked up, dog, I'm too amped <clears throat> And this bitch leave me like a male stamp Strapped up, I give a fuck, I'm a dollar Now, <clears throat> y'all hear that Now, I'm not like I'm not gonna pull up the lyrics and work it But when I tell you I went to Apple Music And I, I went to the lyrics of the song Bro took Every single word. It's a part where bro go, hmm, hmm. And I thought it was just Drake swag. This it, It's like finding out Santa Claus is fake, bro. You know what I'm saying? I thought that was just Drizzy in the booth with the swag. Hmm, hmm. And then you hear this, and it's like, no, that wasn't his swag. Lil Yachty thought to do that. Like, come on, bro. We cannot keep doing this. 
We cannot keep doing this. Bro is getting all kind of stuff written for him. We don't know what's what. Even in the battle. Now, don't get me, don't get me wrong. The 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 last uh, joint that I heard from uh, Drake, it was cool. It was for show cool. And then the little half leak, that was fire. That, that little half leak was fire. I ain't going to lie. When that full track come out, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. I ain't going to lie to you. That's crazy. But my dog. My dog, we can't compete on some lyricist shit. You feel me? If you get your lyrics written for you. I mean, it's as simple as that. You hear act. He allegedly worked with Yachty. He alleg Bro, he did. We heard it right there. Yachty sound hard on there. I'm going to be honest. Yachty probably could have cleaned that up. You could tell that wasn't mixed down or nothing. Yachty could have probably cleaned that up. You know what I'm saying? And, and had a banger. The beat itself, and then, like I said, how he was rapping, that was hard. His whole little cadence, all that was fire. And Drake took it. And Drake took it. I don't know what to say. As far as this battle go, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, the first round is to K-Dot. I'm going to be real. That track that bro dropped, it was cool. The drop and Gimme 50 was dope. Shout out to IQ Shahid, because he the one who named that. You know what I'm saying? He need his credit. Get that man his credit. At IQ Shahid. Um, that was fire. You know what I'm saying? It was cool, but it wasn't nothing. It, it didn't do nothing to that verse to me. I'll be honest with y'all. But again, um, if this is your first time to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment, share. Y'all let me know what y'all think down below. I got K dot up one just from a verse on future album. That's how I got it because nobody did anything tough enough to stand up to what that verse was to me i'm gonna be honest j cole did he gracefully bowed out you know what i'm saying i felt like he was right there <laughs> you know what I'm saying? he peaced on y'all but uh let me know what y'all think it's your boy gangland name peace